Hey everybody, so it's a little bit of a random wash day. I just have to do laundry. I happened to come across this, like a pretty later model Whirlpool direct drive washer. Oddly enough, a uh, customer had called me over the phone referring to a washer just like this. So this is one of the latest direct drives ever made and evidently it was made in 2009. I thought they stopped making them in 2007, but I stand corrected. This washer got the full refurbishment upgrade. I took it apart, I cleaned it. I replaced the coupling with a heavy duty coupling. The part number 285. 852 and the difference is the coupler part is actually made out of a more heavy duty it's like a thicker fiber type of thing I don't know if the actual plastic coupler part is any better than the 285753A anyways I do these and then I also install the commercial grade six pad clutch on this washer too and i'll show you the differences between that sorry i can't i ran out of the heavy duty clutches evidently but so this is a standard direct drive clutch and you see it's got a clutch pad clutch pad clutch pad the six pad clutches have obviously six so there's one two three four five and then six just a lot more surface area uh they will last a lot longer they will typically you know kick up into high speed a little bit faster those are the two major upgrades and obviously I check everything else to make sure there's no issues or if there's any rust I'll take care of that too. It, so the thing is with these refurbished direct drive washers if there's like more than like a speck of rust they don't make the cut like they just get if, if it's just surface rust and it's like totally still functional machine they'll just be sold as used the very special ones that i actually say are completely refurbished they come with a one-year warranty from me uh, they typically will be in almost perfect condition from a physical standpoint they won't have any perceptible rust or if they do they have just a minuscule amount and i'm able to sand it and paint over it so that it doesn't become an issue in the future they're already machines that are pretty clean to begin with if they're really really grimy then i usually will pass them over um because I, I could get them clean i just can't ever get them like sparkly clean like this one but yeah only a, like probably one in 20 direct drives that i repair actually end up being the top of the line you know refurbished eugene like sign my name type of refurbished washers not to say that the other ones are are not good it's just that the condition they have to be like perfect they have to be like almost like brand spanking new conditions uh, and there's very there, you know they're starting to get harder and harder to find these direct drives you know they were great washers but the newest one right now is 10 years old you know they're going to really start falling off the face of the earth if you guys are interested in buying a direct drive washer which i strongly recommend you do obviously you are if you're in the Cleveland area you're welcome to come see me at Lorraine furniture I sell these or you can order one if I don't have one you could just put your name on the list and as soon as I get one in you know you'll be the next on the list and obviously if you want a matching set I could totally accommodate that too as long as you're willing to be a little bit patient because I don't always have these refurbished machines you know sometimes like I have two and then sometimes I won't have any for like a month and I can't control that because it's you know they're just really getting harder to find the purpose of this video is to educate you on what a direct drive washer is, how you can identify it, and why you should buy one. The term direct drive is actually just a nickname for this platform of washer. This washer was built by the Whirlpool Corporation and the first direct drive rolled off the assembly line in mass now in about 1982 and they ceased production I believe don't quote me in 2009 the reason it's called a direct drive is because there is no belt the motor is directly attached to the transmission and on the other side of the motor the water pump is directly mounted to the motor basically there's no belt and that's why we call it a direct drive washer the reason it's such a great washer is because it was so, so durable. Now, when I say durable, there's a difference between durability and reliability. This washer will not last forever. And in fact, you should expect to do some sort of service every five to 15 years, depending on how you treat it. One of the weak spots on this machine was the motor coupling and the clutch. The beauty about this machine is that you can totally fix it yourself or if you do hire a service guy to fix it, the service guy is not gonna charge you a lot of money to fix this machine because it's such a joy to work on. 
and it's so easy to repair. I mean, we could be, as a servicer, I could be in and out in 15 minutes and fix your direct drive washing machine, no matter what it is. Removing the transmission is like a 10 minute job. Taking the motor out is like a five minute job. Replacing the coupling is a five minute job. That's the beauty about this machine is that when it breaks, it is totally repairable. And the best, best part about this machine is that parts are dirt cheap. There's nothing on this machine that is incredibly expensive. Perhaps if you had to buy a brand new transmission, that might cost a little bit, but you could actually rebuild your transmission and none of this requires any special tools. Whatever random tools you have in your toolbox is probably adequate enough to repair this washer. Basically to take this washer completely apart, all you need is a quarter inch nut driver, a 5 16 nut driver, a Phillips screwdriver, maybe a pair of pliers, and then maybe if you want to take the transmission out, you'll need a 7 16 nut driver and a half inch nut driver. So one of the easiest ways you could identify a direct drive washer is by looking at the back of the machine. Now all direct drive panels are kind of different colors, where the drain hose comes out, etc. But they all look very similar in the respects that the entire back panel is one piece of metal. So it looks like when you're working on this machine that you would intuitively you would think to remove the back panel to access the washer but that's not the correct way to do it but if you ever look at a washer and the whole back panel is like one separate piece of metal chances are really good that you're looking at a direct drive washer another great way to tell is to actually tip the machine back a little bit and stick your head underneath the bottom of the machine if you see this type of setup where the motor is seemingly directly plugged into the transmission and you do not see any belts, then you're looking at a direct drive washer. When this washer came out in 1982, it was very well received by the consumer. It was a no nonsense washer that spun really well relative to the time period and did a fantastic job cleaning. This washer was built for 35 years as in they did not need to change the overall design of this machine other than some technological upgrades and some cosmetic updating throughout the years this washer has stood the test of time and everybody pretty much approves of it i'll be uploading a few wash videos of this machine in the coming days so if you're interested in watching it don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching